I would like to quickly point out that John the Mouse video has a large selection of videos from North and South America for your viewing pleasure. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now let's get into the cheese of the matter. I'm going to take you back to 1957, the birthplace of Pete, the world's largest pelican. It seems like it was talked about several years before the birth of the pelican took place. Truman Strand was put in charge to get things rolling. I, I don't really know how the pelican got started. I have no idea of what these made Dad decide he wanted to build a pelican. We are going to be listening to Bob throughout this video talk about his father. Ted was the one who built Pelican Pete. And as always, I have links down below. Yeah, as far as I know, it was his idea. And, and where he got the idea or why he wanted to do it, I'll never know. But Using cardboard from Strand's Hardware Store, you can find it located on Main Street that was owned by Truman Strand in 1953. He purchased the old Coast to Coast store in Pelican Rapids. Uh, this was his second store, which Truman operated until his retirement. I remember Dad building, working on it on the blacksmith shop. Ted used the cardboard to make a life-size model of the Pelican. They placed it near the waterfall to help determine the dimensions and the placement of the concrete base. But J.P. Wallace had a, a mounted pelican in the bank, and I don't know how Dad did it, but he talked the bank into loaning it to him so he could take measurements off of that to build the pelican. They settled on a five to one scale from a pelican that had died of injuries that had been stuffed and mounted for display. And then the, uh, G it used to be J.P. Wallace State Bank, which was sold to Norwest, which in turn was sold to Wells Fargo. Now it was time to build Pete. The steel framework was welded together to form his body. Putting the head on his body had to be done outside of their small blacksmith shop. Him and Anton. And Anton, uh, he died young. But uh, Anton pretty much took care of the blacksmith shop, the customers, and Dad worked on the Pelican. Volunteers helped pour the concrete base for the Pelican. Gilman and Cliff Rennig and I and some volunteers on a Saturday. We poured a slab for the pelican to sit on. Using over 120 bags of cement, the concrete was dumped into a wheelbarrows and wheeled by hand down to the bank of the river and poured into the form for the base. The job was completed in three hours. But anyway, Dad built the pelican. He got it uh, all framed up and uh, they put mesh around it and then they got talked the REA into, uh, they had a big boom truck that they used. Uh -oh. Power was just coming to the rural areas and they had, had that as a big heavy duty one. And they uh, hooked onto it and just lifted it up on their boom and carried it down to the river. The Lake Region Electric Cooperative boom truck transported the huge framework of the Pelican from the blacksmith shop to the concrete base along the river. We got the slab poured and got it all ready to go and then the uh, RA came down and they lifted the Pelican and sat it right on the slab. The steel frame was wrapped in wire and then hand plastered by Elvin Anderson a local tradesman. Then we got an old, or he got an old plaster that was retired. Later, it was painted white with orange bill and feet. I don't know who painted it. I have no idea. They did consider covering the frame with then new fiberglass.
but decided that the plaster would give it a more realistic appearance. I know after we got done with the Pelican, then they, they made a sidewalk ramp from the ground out to the slab, and there's railings around the slab. That was there to start with. The total bill for the new Pelican was $1,200. In 2019 money, that would cost $10,917.74. The 15 and a half foot steel and plaster symbol of Pelican Rapids didn't have a name until Pelican Rapids Area Chamber of Commerce had a naming contest several years later. Pete became the official name of the Pelican. The Chamber of Commerce sold thousands of five cent postcards of the Big Pelican for many years. Using the profits for maintenance of the world's largest Pelican structure, the city of Pelican Rapids has ownership of the Pelican and the Mill Pond Dam. On the Pelican's 25th birthday, the community threw a party for the Pelican on the sunny hot summer day in 1982. They celebrated with music, ice cream, and a huge birthday cake with the words, the world's largest. Over 700 was the estimated to be in attendance that day. Pelican's Pete's 50th birthday. A group of local businesses created a flock of Pelican sculptures. They called them the friends of the Pelican Pete. These four foot birds were decorated by local and regional artists. Over three dozen pelicans commissioned by the business owners to sit outside their shops. In the winter, most of them are inside their owner's business. John the Mouse Travel Map is available for Google Maps. It will help plan your route to the locations of your favorite videos. It is free to use. I have the link below. Please visit the playlist tab for videos that I have sorted for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button 